Hi, this is David with AppWorks, and today I'm going to talk to you about performing scripts on the server. It's a feature of FileMaker that can save you tons of time performance-wise um, when you're doing operations that require you to manipulate a lot of records or do something that's going to be complicated and actually takes quite a long time. If you can completely encapsulate the operations in a single script that can run without any user input, then you can probably offload it to server. And I'm going to just show you what the real benefit of running things on server is. So here I've got a basic script. It's called find and update. All it does is it asks the user to input a state, goes into find mode, enters the state an accompany table, performs a find for the, all the records with that state, and then replaces field contents in a different field. So this is a table with just companies and address data. So if I run this script locally, which means I'm just going to run this operation right here um, from my client, but it's operating on data that's in the cloud on a hosted server, and I choose, say, uh, Delaware, right? And I'm going to replace with calculated result and hit replace. It takes a second. And it's done. That was only 132 records. If I run this again with a state like, say, Texas, there are 1,100 records. Well, let's see what that does. Well, as you can see, this is going to take a while. So what's happening here is that this script has to actually pull 1,100 records down from the hosted database to my local machine, cache them, manipulate them, and send the data back up to the hosted machine. It takes a long time when you've got a lot of records. So that was, you know, a good 8, 10 seconds. Here's the difference. If I run this same operation and I've split that essential script into two scripts, one that just sends the information up to the server, and one that runs on the server with PSOS, uh, it's going to be much faster. So if we run this, and we say California, which actually even has more records, and it's done. That's how quickly it worked. And as if you want to see just how, fa how much faster that was, California actually has 2,400 records about twice as many as the Texas records, and yet it was a split second, it was done. So this is the real benefit of PSOS. The way you do this is you take these operations that you can do on server all by themselves, you split them out into a second script. So you can see here, we've got um, entering find mode, setting the field, performing the find, and there's some error checking here, but we're essentially replacing the field contents here. And it's all the same stuff that happened in this script, only what we've done is we've split it onto the server. So the stuff that takes a long time, we put onto the server. So here we're going to show custom dialog, and I'll run, it through, run through it really quickly. We're going to ask for California again, hit OK. And now at this point, this dollar state variable gets sent as a parameter to the PSOS subscript. When the PSOS subscript is done, we wait for completion. You can see here it says wait for completion on. And then we set a variable after it's completed to the result. And we get the script result. Now I've set up the script so that it actually sends a result when it's done. And then it displays a custom dialog with the result. So we hit perform script on server. Now we set the variable result and we show the result. And that's success. And now we're done. And you'll see in this PSOS subscript what we do here. So first of all, we set a variable to the state. We get the script parameter that was sent in, and this is all happening on the server. We go to a layout company. You need to do this because your startup script may take you to a different layout like the splash screen, which is the wrong context. You're not going to find company records on this screen. So the script will fail if you don't go to the right place. You can't control this. You can't have a user setting it to their correct layout, so you need to do everything that a user would need to do on this script. So now we enter find mode on the server, we set the field of state, which we got from the parameter, we perform the find, this is all happening on server, and now if the find doesn't work for some reason, say we do a search for California instead of the CA, 
it'll it won't find any records that have California in state. It'll throw an error, and now if you see an error, meaning if there's an error that's more than zero, then you're going to exit the script and you send the result of dollar error. Otherwise, we're going to do our operation. So if there was no error finding it, we do this and we exit the script again. This time we send a text result of success. And exit script with a text result means that when this script gets the script result, that's what we see. So if you have an error, for example, if we run this and we say California, we didn't even spell it right, and 401. Oh, there was an error, error 401. Well, error 401, I have to know, means um, record's not found. So that's basically it. You need to be able to send parameters in. You need to make sure that you're in your correct context. So you want to go to a layout and... Um, then you can do your operations on the server and you also want to then trap for some errors and send errors back out or send some sort of success or um, result back out. Uh, and then this script will pick it up, deliver that to the user, and now you've saved yourself tons of time. And that's basically how PSOS works. This file will be downloadable from our website, so check it out and you can see exactly how this works yourself. Thanks for watching.